Hello. So this isn't going to be a normal video. If you don't like sad topics or anything like that, I highly recommend clicking off. Just, just fair warning. Um, this isn't going to be an edited video. This is just going to be uh, kind of me being transparent with you guys because I've been asked a question quite a few times. And even more now, now that I've been kind of mentioning SMG4 in my videos, not even mentioning, also reacting to the videos. And I've been getting the question a lot on Discord Insta and stuff. So um, I thought now is a good time to answer it since we're getting closer to the weekend and the new episode is going to be coming out. So plus I just, I've been wanting to answer this for quite a while. So why Axel is my favorite fictional character. So before we get into this, I'm not going to be name dropping. I had to, I asked, um, my, my friend's family, um, uh, permission to talk about this. They said, yes, just don't use their name. Just make up one. So we're going to call my friend Andrew for this story. Okay. So I hope that makes sense. And <laughs> yeah. Okay. So SMG four, I, for, I watched the first episode. It was a TF two video. And then I watched another one was a, a Mario and this spaghetti Rio with the FNAF cast. Those were the first ones I ever watched, but I didn't watch anything else after that. Uh, a few years passed by. Um, and I'm in high school and I meet my friend Andrew for the first time. He is nice. He's kind. He was very accepting and we, we got along like two peas in a pod. We loved all the same video games. He introduced me to Smash Bros tournaments. He took me like everywhere. And yeah, he, he's a, he is a great, great guy. I, fu I fucking love him to bits and pieces. So he introduced me to, um, SMG four again, because I found out that there was stories. So uh, I came over for a day and we just binged a whole bunch of the episodes. We watched, um, the Waluigi arc, the rapper Bob arc. And at the time the anime arc was starting to like come out a little bit. So we were kind of catching up on that. And then we ended up making a vow to each other that we're going to every weekend, we're going to get together, watch the video and talk about it. And we made this a whole tradition. And anytime, but like when Watfi came up, it was just, we were all over it. So for yeah, uh, 2019 and then 2020, uh, they, were, they were great, great times, great times. So the episode that really stood out to me and him was Mario, sorry, I think it was SMG4 Visits Japan, where Axel was first introduced. When I think this that was his first character he made, like voice and everything, like just the model, like that character was his first ma male character that was just his. So... Uh, the one, I thought that was really fun and cool. Two, it also introduced me to what axolotls are, which are now my favorite animal of all time because of how cute they are. But, um, yeah. So, when uh, we started watching, we watched that episode, we both instantly fell in love with the character because we thought he was cool. And also, Andrew did like manga a little bit. Just a little bit. Um, so he, he already was like, oh, this guy knows what he's talking about. And it was like, it was just fun stuff like that. So... Yeah, um, then as the weeks went on, uh, Desti died and all that, so we were, of course, upset. I don't really, like, to be perfectly honest, I don't really care if Desti comes back or not, because she wasn't really a main cast character, but anyways. Um, more episodes came on, and he ended up becoming Andrew's favorite character, as well as my favorite character, but he already was when I first saw him, because <laughs> of uh, how cool he was, um, at least to me. Uh, but the thing is, is that at the time he also wasn't being used a little all the time anymore because yeah but then they ended up bringing him back for the internet graveyard one where like he had his like little update where he went a little insane and eek weaver broke so i was a little, i was like hey well at least he's back huh um but i was i was happy to see him again so either way um say like a few years passed by um and axel was in the episode where Melanie was introduced. So, of course, we were pretty pretty happy about that. We also really liked the new character, Melanie. I, she's in my top five. She's definitely up there. Um, I do really like Melanie. but And I think Melanie and Axel go really well together. Uh, but um, as soon as we saw it, we just... We were like, yeah, that's a good couple. What, like, smart move on SMG4's part. He could finally sell romantic merch, which, during Valentine's Day, sells, like, sells amazingly. My PC just turned off, sorry. Um, but yeah, no, it's, it, 
It's a very smart move business-wise because romance sells. Either way. Um, so, as a few episodes came like came on by, like Melanie Felony, uh, the, the Intruder... Uh, and the bed episode, like ones like that. Also, the internet graveyard episode where like Melanie hacks and uh, all that. Like, it really got me in, uh, and she like really excited for Melanie and Axel to finally get together because like she was slowly kind of maturing as time goes on a little bit. She kind of, but anyways, <laughs> um, yeah. So we were starting to get towards like the the episode that I remember very distinctively was called the day he arrived which was kind of like a hint towards like a new arc after the 10 year anniversary special which clearly hinted towards an arc but i loved the 10 year anniversary special it was a great great time it was just fan service up the wazoo <laughs> um either way so that episode came out and uh me and uh, andrew thought it was it was pretty cool like it, it was it was terrifying because we thought that axel was gonna like like, we don't know what's going to happen to Axel. We hope that, like, we don't know how they're going to bring him back and, like, save him and all that. So, we're, we were hoping for the best. But, um, so, a few days later, I got invited to a birthday party. And I went, of course, so. Yeah, while I was there, I, I, I got a phone call. It was Andrew's mom. So, I, I answered, and... She told me that Andrew passed away. And that hit me. That hit me like a brick. Because he made high school easier for me. He showed me so many amazing things that I am so grateful for. I I was in shock, I guess, because I was also kind of in denial because I didn't think that it was true that I wasn't going to be able to see him all the time anymore or, you know, go over and watch videos or play games together. We no longer would be able to do anything like that. So it wasn't the best time for me. And, uh, then, uh, the next episode came out kind of like more hinting towards like, I think it was the backrooms one. I can't, I can't remember either way. Um, <clears throat> either way, um, next few episodes came out and I was like, well, I'll still watch to keep the memory alive, to keep the magic alive that me and Andrew once had. So. And since like COVID was pretty big, not the uh, not, it still was. We was just getting out of. You're allowed to go out, so I wasn't really. I wasn't allowed to attend the funeral because COVID restrictions still were a thing. And yeah, so yeah, I know it was 2021. Yeah, it was. So either way, um, it was just bad news after bad news. But then. Watfi came and I was not looking forward to it. I almost didn't watch it because I just didn't really feel like watching it without my buddy anymore. So I ended up watching though because I felt like I owed it to him and I owed it to Axel. He was our he was our favorite character and I'd continue watching for him. And then that episode Axel died. <laughs> So I was, I was, I was devastated. It was a really, really, really bad day for me. I ended up just, I remember I did fuck all that week. I tried my best to just do the best I could. And yeah. And then time passed, of course. I just didn't really watch as much as I used to just cause my favorite character was gone and I didn't have my buddy anymore either. So I didn't really see much of a point to watch. However, Revelations was coming out, and I thought that, well, okay, I might as well watch it. They may bring him back because they did get some Axel merch and all that, and they, like, and I, I'll admit, I did order quite a bit. I even ordered an Axel cutout, which I have in the background of my videos at my office. But uh, then he didn't come back, 
So I ended up taking quite a long break from watching because my favorite character and just it just didn't feel the same or it didn't feel right anymore for me. He was the serious hook that the franchise needed, in my opinion. He was a great character, and I'm very, very sad that he's no longer in the show. Um, but also, it just didn't feel right to watch it without without Andrew because it was it was our thing. We. That was basically the first thing we ever did together when we first became friends. So, yeah. As time went on, though, I kept on talking about it on my Twitch and uh, on random videos. And I just felt like I wasn't really talking about my love for this character enough. So I decided to react to a video because people were suggesting me react to an SMG4 video. And I was like, yeah, sure, why not? I'll be able to bitch about Axel the whole time. And then I did. Now I've been able to keep up with the SMG4 lore again, and I'm, um, and it feels feels good. It feels refreshing. It feels familiar, and it it's been helping me out. I'll admit. No, um, the episode where he did return did. <laughs> I will admit I did cry off camera for that one. Um, I I but to be perfectly honest, if SMG4 doesn't bring back Axel. That's perfectly fine. It's his channel. He could do what he wants. Like I'm not. I'm. I'm just a nobody when it comes to that type of stuff. Cause, um, it's his channel. He could do whatever he wants. I don't. As long as he's happy. But um, I would not be complaining though if he does come back. I would totally be down for a return. <laughs> Either way. I also do want to say thank you, SMG4, for making my. My life's so much better. You gave me memories that I cherish so deeply. You gave me a friend that I am very, very happy that I was able to meet. And a character that I was able to relate to so, so much. Not just because I thought I was a little similar, but also because he was just a great character. I loved to have seen him on screen. He was just amazing. And... I'm very thankful for that. You gave me memories to last a lifetime, and you gave me a character to love and adore and care about this much that I still want him back in the show, even though he may not be in currently. Or maybe ever again. I'd love for him, for him to be a main cast again. <laughs> Melanie and Axel reunite, that'd be great. But, yeah, again, if it doesn't, it doesn't. If it does, it does. Either way, I just wanted to kind of get my thoughts out on this just kind of being transparent to finally answer the question that a lot of my viewers on my Instagram and Discord have been wondering since I've been reacting to these videos. I'm not going to be stopping reacting to SMG4 because he still means a lot to me. And I just want to say thank you, all of you, including SMG4 for just... Well, one, for SMG4 for making this franchise. And for all of you guys for watching and supporting me. Of course, I'm always going to love Axel and I'm going to hold those memories very dear to my heart. And... Whenever my time is done in this world, if I ever luckily see Andrew again, I have a lot to fill him in on. <laughs> Either way, just know that this isn't like a sob story for everyone to be like, oh, poor you, poor you. It's just, I wanted to talk to you guys and answer a question that my fan base wanted to know. And I wanted to talk about my story. If you guys have any stories that you guys would like to share, feel free to join the Discord and say your stories or comment it below i want you guys all to know that i love you very much thank you guys so much for watching and yeah normal videos will be continuing after this one thank you guys i love you all bye bye